Welcome to the Java Revisited YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to talk about the decorator pattern. In Java, the decorator pattern will allow you to add functionality to an existing object without altering its structure. Now, we have our main class here. But we're not coming here for the meantime. Let us look at an interface we have called car. Car has a method called start. And it doesn't accept any arguments. It also doesn't return any value. It is void. We also have a class called Ford that implements the car. Now, because we have a method to implement, we implement start. After implementing start, all we do is just to print out Ford starting. So when you create an object of Ford, I call start to print out Ford starting. Let us implement the decorator pattern. We're going to create an abstract class called car decorator. This abstract class will implement the car interface. We have a private member called decorated car. This is assigned the value that's accepted through the constructor, which is a car object. So that when we call start, it calls start in the pasting object. Then we have classes that implement the decorator. You can have multiple classes that implement this decorator and you now add functionalities in these classes. That way we have avoided changing the functionality of the original class. Using this new class, we're going to modify the start method. So here we have a car, new Ford, and a second car, new white car, decorator, but we pass in a new Ford object in the constructor. We call start on the first and start on the second. The printout for the first is called is Ford starting. Then we have a dash printed out. Then when we call car to start, we see Ford starting and car color white. It's still a car but with added functionality. We didn't need to change the structure of the Ford class. If you have any question or doubt, make them known in the comments and remember to like and share this video.